Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to go over how to create an app that links up with your WordPress site that is using a membership plugin and also BuddyPress. So if you wanted to create an app that allows your members to log in and access protected content and uh, register and optionally also integrate with BuddyPress, I'm gonna go through that here. So I've uh, created an app here that has some of this functionality so you can just see what it's going to look like when it's done. Um, essentially we have a login where people can, uh, members can log in or they can click sign up and it's going to go to a registration page. This is using Restrict Content Pro but the uh, the way that it all integrates is basically the same for all memberships plugins. So Paid Memberships Pro, WooCommerce Memberships, uh, you know, MemberPress, whatever it is. So. Uh, we have the register. People can, can register here for a free account. Um, they are not going to be able to pay through the app because you would have to use in-app purchases for that and give the app stores 30%. Most people don't want to do that. So you'll have free registration and then you'll have existing member logins through the app. Um, they can click login. Uh, they can try to access some members area, but it's going to be restricted. So it'll work the same way it works on your site, which is, you know, the, the members who have access to certain content, they will all see that appropriately. And the other thing we can do is hide and show side menu items based on whether people are logged in so that you can, instead of people clicking and seeing this message, you can actually just not show that menu item at all. Um, and then we have a uh, buddy press integration which uh, you know you need to be logged in to post to the activity feed or join groups or you know send friendship requests things like that. So let me just clear out this menu and uh, start it over again. So I'll show you my site. So this is just a, a local site. Um, it's got Restrict Content Pro and BuddyPress activated on it, so you can see I have like a registration page and I have. A, uh, you know all the stuff like welcome page I have my account page um, I have a restricted content page where since I'm logged in I can see the content if I was not logged in I wouldn't be able to see the content all the stuff that you would get in a membership plugin so let me just start by uh, sort of remaking this menu that I've made here so you'll see I have some custom CSS and stuff that's that's not really what I'm gonna go over here but I'm gonna more uh, just kind of create the menu so the first thing that you want to do, actually, let's pop out of here. Um, you're going to want to go to your login settings and have your login set up here so that when I do add a login button to the side menu, then you put your WordPress URL. Now you can choose to force users to log in. That will basically make them log in before they can access the app at all. Um, that is up to you. But sometimes if you want to show some free content and then also have a members area then you would just leave it like this now you're also going to show a registration link so this is this basically adds a button to the login modal that says sign up and then they can click that and register so this is going to be to a a front end page that has only the free registration level on it so let me show you what that looks like on my site um, i had to create a new page and let me find it in here. I had to create a new page and then in Restrict Content Pro I can add a register form shortcode and I I put ID of two because two is my free level. So you don't want to show all the paid levels on there because people aren't actually going to be paying through the app. So this is the way that you can create a registration form with only the free level on it in Restrict Content Pro. I think you can do the same thing in other membership plugins, but the point is to make this on the front end. You cannot use the register.php page or you know the any admin pages like wplogin.php. So it has to be on the front end. So we get this URL, um, and then I'm going to put this in right here. All right. So then we save that, and then we are on to the actual app building. So the next thing you're going to want to do is uh, create a home page for the app or at least uh, whatever you want your app to look like, we need to uh, create that. So I'm going to do a members menu. So I created this uh, custom page, which I'm going to add as my home page. And 
I'm just gonna call it home and then I'll give it an icon of home. So let me go ahead and save that. And before I add any other pages, I'm just going to go show you what that looks like real quick. First of all, let me change my menu over here. So if I go to custom pages, this is the page that I created for my home page. So it's a custom HTML page and it has an image at the top and then it has some text and then it has, it's using an ion list here. Uh, and then I just put in some buttons, which are going to, the first one is going to open up our register, the, the uh, fourth menu item, which is our registration page. One of them is going to allow people to log in. So it's going to open up the login modal. And then the other two are going to open up the other uh, menu items. So then the next thing I'm going to do is go build my, the rest of my menu, which is going to be the uh, community, which is like the buddy press area, then the members area, then the registration page. So let me go to the menu. And the first thing I believe was my activity page. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get my, the URL to my activity page, which is going to be just activity. And then you put in an icon class if you want, whatever you want it to be. And next I'm going to add in a, a members area page. This can be any page you want on your site. Um, you know, what I'm doing here is all optional. You can add whatever you want. I'm just kind of showing you how this works. And then the last one is going to be registration. So uh, since this is actually in the menu already in the login modal, you don't actually need this, but just in case you wanted to see how to do it, you can add this here. Okay, so then if I look at my menu, now I have home, activity, members area, and register. If I click on register, I get my register page that I just made, members area, same kind of thing that I was showing you in the demo. It's gonna have BuddyPress activity page. All right, uh, let me just make sure that these are in the right order. Yeah, okay, it looks like everything's good. Okay. Uh, so now that I have added those in, I am going to go ahead and build it so that it will create my custom page and we can test it out. Okay, so now I have my page here. If I am, so I'm not logged in. If I click on members area, I can see that this is restricted to subscribers. Now, if I wanted to if I wanted people to just not even see that if they're not logged in, I can add in the logged in menu class, which is going to hide that from anyone who is not logged in. So now when I look in the menu, I don't see that menu item at all since I'm not logged in. So that is optional. So there's gonna be a couple different ways for people to register. If you click on the login modal, uh, existing members can log in or they can click sign up down here and it's going to enter, it's going to uh, go to the registration page that we just created. And the other way would be if, if you optionally added this to your menu or your homepage, then they could register this way. So let's just go ahead and register a fake person so we can see how it looks. Register. So once we finish registration, then we're gonna actually see the welcome page. So the welcome page is a page that you create in WordPress through uh, Restrict Content Pro. And it's going to redirect us to this. So what I've done is I've added some text here so they can use the menu to access their content or I've actually uh, added a link that is going to send them directly to the members area. And the way that I did that is if I go to the welcome page.
Um, I use this uh, button with a data app link to, which means it's going to go to the third menu item. It's third because in programming indexes start with zero, so zero, one, two is actually the third menu item. This, so this is optional, and you could just leave it without that button if you like, because uh, people on your website would see this too, which might be confusing, um, unless you create a separate welcome page for the app. So uh, now that we have that in there, then we can click on the members area and we'll see the content restricted. Uh, when we see, when we view the menu, we're gonna see the members area is there now that we're logged in. Um, people can, you know, obviously go in and post updates to BuddyPress and do everything else that they would be able to do if they were logged in. So uh, now any other pages that you wanted to add to your menu that are specific membership pages that people have to be logged in you can add those and the, all the permissions and everything will work correctly um, and you can also add other buddy press pages and everything like that so i hope this video helps i'll see you in the next one